Hi, welcome to MIG Monday. I'm Paul. Today we're going to discuss joining dissimilar metals, and in case the specifically uh, mild steel to stainless steel, because we get questions about that occasionally. Uh, is it possible to do that? Sure it is. Uh, it's possible to do a lot of things, uh, as long as you recognize that sometimes when you do that, you know, there, there might be better alternatives by staying with the same base metal, you know, staying with stainless to stainless instead of mild steel. Uh, basically because, you know, typically the stainless is there for its corrosion resistance. And once you make a weld and join it to mild steel, which doesn't have corrosion resistance, uh, you're going to, you know, you're going to compromise the overall quality or corrosion resistance of the part. So, but if that's not an issue for you, uh, yeah, you can, you can weld mild steel to stainless. Uh, there are certain steps to take, however. One, you always want to use a stainless filler wire. You know, match the filler wire to the grade of stainless that you're using. Uh, the other issue then, of course, is, is the gas. Uh, you're still going to use a gas that's appropriate for stainless steel. And in this case, we're talking about gases that are fairly expensive, trimixes and uh, argon CO2, argon 98%, argon 2% CO2, or 98% argon 2% oxygen. In this case, that's what we're using here. Uh, typically, that's a much more expensive gas. Uh, but it's the, what, it's the right gas to use to do the whole project correctly. So I'm going to make a weld here and we're going to take a look at the results. I'm going to, the top plate here is, is stainless steel and the bottom is mild steel. And we're going to make a weld on that and take a look at it, okay? All right, let me get my gear on and we'll weld. All right, so there we have two dissimilar materials, but we actually have a pretty decent looking weld. We've minimized the corrosion degradation of the uh, joint by using a stainless filler metal, and we should have a pretty long lasting repair. All right. Now, having said that, as I mentioned, there is a right way and there is a wrong way of doing things. Sometimes doing it the right way isn't very cost effective. And if you have a one-time repair or something that you don't do very often in terms of welding stainless to mild steel, uh, is it going to justify, is that repair going to justify going out and getting a bottle of higher cost gas, uh, going out and getting a spool of, of a small spool of, of stainless wire that's going to run you 30 or 40, maybe more? Uh, you know, it's a one-time repair. Can you do it with your regular mild steel setup? Well, probably. Uh, is it recommended? Absolutely not. And I don't want anybody to take that as a personal recommendation that you do it that way. But just because something isn't recommended doesn't mean it can't be done successfully in certain applications. So if you think that your application is, is suitable for that, uh, you can certainly give it a try and see what you get. What I'm going to do is change the machine over. I'm going to put 7525 gas on here, change it over to mild steel, and then we'll make another weld on here and see if we see any visual difference. Uh, and even if there's not a visual difference, uh, there is going to be a difference in the fact that because I'm using a mild steel filler, uh, the corrosion resistance of this particular piece is going to be minimized uh, more than if I used a stainless filler metal. Okay, so let's get it changed over and we'll make another weld and see what we got, okay? All right, I have my machine changed over. Basically, all I did was remove the stainless and put in mild steel wire, and I took and removed my gas bottle of 98.2, and I replaced it with 7525, 75 argon, 25% CO2. I have the same joint that I welded on before, the top piece being the stainless, the bottom piece being mild steel. I'm gonna make a weld, and we're gonna take a look at what it looks like, and then you can make your own decisions about whether or not you want to do it, even though I'm not making any recommendations that this is the way to do it, because I do believe you should always go with the stainless filler model matching the stainless that you're doing. But you don't want to spring for expensive wire, expensive gas, and it's a small repair project. I can't blame somebody for trying to do it more economically, especially if it can have a successful result. So let me get my gear on here and we'll make this weld. And 
Yeah, there you have it. It's a nice looking weld. I don't see anything wrong with it from a visual standpoint. Bear in mind that the corrosion resistance of the weld will be less because we're using mild steel instead of a stainless steel filler metal. But other than that, for a small repair job around the house, without spending extra money for gas and wire, why, well, you know, that might be the way for it to go. I mean, that's a decision that you need to make on your own. But it can be done, as we've just seen. So with that in mind, make good choices, and we'll see you next time. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.